So we're about ready to go on the pitch behind us there. Uh, Heise has not turned up yet, so it looks like I might have to start, so I need to get changed quite quickly. But yeah, like I said, playing Copper 90 tonight. Um, don't know much about them. They look like quite a big side, quite tall, so it might be quite physical. Um, but yeah, we don't know what to expect from them whatsoever. <laughs> So let's have a look at the squad then that we're playing this game against Copper 90 as you would have heard in the introduction there. I was not meant to be starting but there I am in the starting lineup. James Heiser not managing to get there on time. Tom Legresley in goal. Can he make it four clean sheets on the trot? Sam Horty at the back today deputising for Matt Creasy who is unavailable for this one. Steve Locke the ever reliable right back is back in the squad playing just alongside him with Chris Hobster in a slightly new position for him today playing on the left hand side. Charlie Nage then has given up his role at centre back to give us a bit of grit in the middle. He'll be playing alongside Ollie Walker who will be looking to carry on his fine form for the club. On the bench then it's one of the best small sided one legged players about and Sleet hoping to be involved today and like I said before James Heiser will be getting involved as soon as he can make it to the pitches. So then our final game in the first round of fixtures in the next level football league seems us take on Copper 90. A team that we don't know too much about. We know Tim's is decent and we are very, very aware that Vooj is there. As you can see him just strutting his stuff on the far sideline then. As we look to stay undefeated in this one then, already got two hashtag games under our belt. So can we make it a full first round of fixtures without losing a game and really stamp our authority on this league? As we see the ball there going out on the near side for an early throw in for us. As we see the ball being taken then by Ollie Walker looking for a pass. Look at that lovely, look how lovely and pink that number is on the back. Just have to ask our suppliers, why, why couldn't you do it like that with all the kits? That's, that's all we've ever wanted is a, is a kit number that that's pink. I say, if you're going to do that, you could have got him some, some black shorts and some black socks at the same time. But, say, for future reference, that is the pink that we love. As you see, the ball coming on then rolled into the feet of me. Playing back to Ollie Walker, playing it square to now we've got some nice little triangles going on here as again I ruin the triangles and try and look for a long ball and it's headed away by Copper 90. Playing it back to Grez then going back to the keeper who gets rid on the first time of asking but there's nobody there to challenge it as I'd have dropped deep and the ball finds its way out to Timsey on the far side who will look for a nice little diagonal pass. Looks like I have misread the flight of that at the back and it has got over the top of me but fortunately there was no composure in the finish from the Copper 90. Ball coming forward then as I do manage to win the ball in the air this time but it goes straight to a Copper 90 player. Nevs though getting back well and forcing the defender to turn as the ball just comes across the back now. Me looking to just kind of try and split the defenders and force them to go long and they have gone long and oh my god somehow that has ended up in the back of the net. It did not look like there was any danger there at all. Ball has gone over to the left hand side of the pitch. He's just looked for a diagonal there. You can see the player running in at the far post. That's who he was looking for. It definitely wasn't a shot and it just caught Brez off his line. And can you believe it? A free goal has put us 1-0 down in this game. So can we come back then as we kick off again looking to bounce straight back off. But Vooj is in the game and he is keen as a bean getting stuck in straight from the off. A Sam Horty there coming forward with the ball. He's got great feet for a centre back looking to come down the line but the cop player gets the tackle in and that will be a throw in for us. Sam Horty then looking for an option. He just rolls it back to the feet of Navs. Plays it inside to Ollie Walker. Nice little turn on the ball there looking to use his pace to get through but the ball is intercepted and again Copper come through on the break and cannot afford to be giving it away in that kind of position as they come down the right hand side but fortunately for us that has gone out of play. But we definitely do not want to be giving the ball away there in that kind of situation. As we see there James Heiser now he has finally arrived, turned up and he will be getting involved as soon as there is a break in the game. The ball at the back now with Gress and again we see Vooch. He's Unbelievably up for this one, sliding in as if it was a regular Sunday fixture. But you can't do that here, Vooj. No slides allowed. As we see, Copper then coming in, and it's a good defensive clearance from Oddie Walker there, getting back behind the defenders. But we see no one's reacted to the quick corners. We see the ball with Timsey now. We know he's a decent player. Cuts inside and gets the shot away, and that is inches past the far post. 
So Copper looking by far the better team early in this one than as we've struggled to settle. We've seen already Copper have beaten Hashtag United this season so we know they are a decent side and they definitely look up for this game at the minute. But us at the back for them, just trying to play out, get our foot on the ball and try and do some nice passing. We see Navs looking for the through ball, but he gets it back and plays it over the top to Sam Hoy, squares it to James Heiser and with his first touch of the game, he manages to slot that home. And that's why we need you there on time every week, mate, because you're a game changer. And just like that, we've not looked that likely so far in this game, but a lovely little dink through ball there by Navs from the midfield. Sam Horty finds himself in that right wing position, sees James Heiser in lots of space, just rolls it back on a plate for him for James Heiser, composed finish in the bottom right hand corner. And that is now one all, and hopefully that can change our fortunes a bit in this game and settle us down a bit. James Heiser then looking to put his mark on the game again, but this time he does a bit too much with his feet and Copper managed to get in. As we see Ansley then, he's come on up top for a little bit, seeing if we can get a goal through him. But Copper again looking to play it out at the back. Bit of pressure there from Ollie Walker and it comes into Chris Hobbs who manages to get a good tackle in on Vuge. Grez then looking to play out of it and again spent a bit too much time on the ball there. Really needed a first time pass who was going to do it. And again giving the way the ball sloppily at the back there is not what we want to be seeing. As we see the roll in there, Vuge again has not read the rule book. obviously that should be a roll in not a kick in but he'll get there. He will get there as we see him down on the near side. Then lovely little bit of skill to get away from Chris Hobster. Just playing it simple and that is Vooch. So the ball coming out at the back then with Sam Horty again. We've seen he's good on the ball looking to take on his man. And James Heiser just playing it nice and simple to Chris Hobster who is looking for Sam Horty. Again lovely feet from him as we've seen. Lovely little turn. He's having a blinding game so far in this game. The ball comes into him and he just leaves it hoping someone in is coming behind him. But unfortunately for us, nobody is there. We're really starting to put our foot down in this game then. As Heiser puts and clean through, just dawdled a little bit on the ball. Didn't look too sure of himself on that weaker right foot of his. That is the injured knee. And in the end, the keeper comes out well and smothered. As we see Ollie Walker now putting it in down the sideline. Great show of strength from him. As the defender kicks it away, we're obviously realising we are getting ahead in this game at the minute as things stand. But the referee blows it for half time there's a half time whistle that we didn't really want to hear because we were coming on quite strongly but considering how poorly we started the game and going 1-0 down early on we will take one all at half time James Heiser making a real difference then since he has turned up in this game into the second half then with the ball at the back with Sam Horty again showing his good footwork and getting away from the attacker a lovely little leave there by Ansley James Heiser read it but couldn't quite get his foot on the end of it and that's what and Sleep does, even though he's injured, still manages to make little changes like that in the game. So Sam Horty bringing it out from the back then as he does so well, playing it into James Heiser. Lovely little bit of skill, puts Ant through and the keeper has surely taken him out there. That has to be a stone wall penalty. Let's have a look at the replay there. Little ball round the corner. Ant goes to get a foot on it. The keeper comes out, doesn't get anything on it. It just hits the back of Ant's leg. And surely that is one of the biggest penalties you'll ever see. Let us know what you think in the comments. Was that a penalty or not? But I can't see any other answer than a definite yes. But the referee has given nothing there and maybe getting a little bit of karma from that poor decision in our eyes. As the ball is cleared by the copper player straight into the referee's legs. And boy, does he go down. But we shouldn't really laugh at that. Of course, the ref got to got to respect them but I mean that that's a little bit funny but let's get the game back underway you see the ball in with Vooge there looking to try and take on Navs who's standing him up well gets the ball outside though Ollie again trying to get a foot in but we're seeing a bit of strength here from the copper boys Navs does manage to get a foot in there on Ollie Walker a little resting match going on down the sideline then of which Ollie Walker wins and that will be the free kick Sam Horty then playing it down the near side to Ant lovely little dink over the top into Chris Hobster the first touch though isn't the best and in the end, the defender is able to get a foot on it. The game opening up a little bit now in the second half as we see Copper coming forward in a 4-1-2 situation. But now we have got numbers back. Vuge looking for the man at the back post and James Heiser playing up top but doing his job very, very well getting back and defending there, headering over the bar. As we see Vuge there looking for the pass into his man, only manages to pick out his own player's face. As we see Grez with the ball now playing the ball down the line into Ollie Walker. A bit of a loopy pass on his left foot, but I managed to bring it down, play it to Navs down the side. We're playing a bit of volleyball at the minute. It comes down to James Harder, lovely touch to bring it down though. Looking for an option. Ollie Walker's there, plays it back out to me. Looking to drive forward with it a little bit, but turn outside and play it to Ollie Walker. Coming forward, gets the shot away, a bit speculative, and it is blocked by Copper. 
back into me. Will I try and get the shot away now? Yes, I will, but the first touch isn't good enough and it comes out. Ball still with us, though, with James Heiser. Ollie Walker again going for the shot, but Copper with a lot of bodies back there and we can't get it through the crowd. A little bit of a long ball lumped into the box and it comes out to Sam Hall. He gets away from his man, looking to play the ball out wide and he's pulled down from the back. And we win ourselves a free kick in a dangerous position. Charlie Namesy standing over top of it, dinks it in to Sam Horty, who again finds a shot blocked. Vooj coming out with it, great strength from him. Ollie Walker just managed to get a foot in there, a hint of a slide from Ollie Walker. But Copper still with the ball as they find Timsey down on the right hand side. Looks for the ball, flashes it across the back post. Vooj hadn't quite gambled on it, and that was a good opportunity for Copper. We see. Timsey on the ball again now, but I managed to get myself a tackle and play it out wide to James Heiser, who's clean through on goal. Looks to slot it past the keeper. There may have been an option for the sweaty goal in the middle, but instead he goes for goal and the keeper saves well with his legs. The quick rolling then to Chris Hobster, he gets the shot away, and again the keeper is strong with his legs at the near post. I think James Heiser definitely took the roll in from the wrong line there, but the keeper has ignored it as you see Chris Hobster there. Goes to retrieve the ball, looks up, and for the first time in his life, sees women just flocking towards him. Nice little bit of evasive moving there, good agility from Chris Hobster to avoid the tackle there. So moving on from that then, a quick roll in to me on this near side. Look to play the pass back to Heiser, but it bounced back to me. Look to come inside, try and play another little reverse pass, but it's poor. But it comes back out to Ollie Walker, gets the shot away. And again, the keeper standing up strong this time, saving with his hands at the near post. Ball dinked into the back there, managed to find its way right over to James Heiser. Comes into Chris Hobbs and gets the shot away, miss hits it a bit. Gets another chance on his left foot this time, and this time he cannot keep it down. So we've had four or five real good opportunities in the last couple of minutes then to get a goal in front in this one as we see the long ball pump forward and finds its man. As we see, Timsey now coming in, acres of space on this right hand side, not being tracked, one on one situation, Grez stands up well and manages to make the save, but again looking a bit dangerous on the counter in this one. As we see, the ball coming forward there, Ollie Walker not happy with that decision from the ref, but the free kick has been given. Find Timsey again, who shoots the first time on his left foot and again Grez is able to make a comfortable save. So still one all in this one as we enter the last few minutes. Ollie Walker looking forward, game really opening up now. James Heiser with a lovely touch and managed to get himself through. Just tries to poke it past the keeper. And again, that is a good save. Keeper's done well with his feet in this game and we can't find the goal. Well, Sam Hoy for the first time loses it coming forward out from the back. And Timsey is clean through. Numbers have managed to get back though. He gets the shot away and that has somehow managed to sneak in. In the last minute of the game, Sam Horty has had such a strong game for us on his debut in the next level football league, giving the ball away in a position at the back, leaving the counter on. And we see that the pass is just behind him, and he managed to get numbers back, who takes the touch inside Chris Hobster, who does get a little touch on the ball. He just has a swing in it though with his right foot. It goes through Chris Hobster's leg and just manages to sneak under Grez's body, who might have been unsighted by the shot. And surely now that is the win for Copper 90 with only seconds left in this game. There is still time to kick off though as we see the ball on the far side with Charlie Nasey looking for Ollie Walker, plays it back into Sam. Ollie Walker again gets the ball back, looks up for the cross in the middle and there's a high hand from Copper and that will be a free hit. This really is the last opportunity in the game now for MHFC to get something. As you see the left nav's in acres of space there. Fizzes it across the box and Sleep manages to get a touch and it can't quite direct it towards goal and the referee blows the whistle there for full time and after dropping our first point in the league last week we have now lost our first game. So not the performance we wanted though, still thought we could have come out with a win in this one despite having no Jakey Stevens. Just one goal for James Heiser puts him a bit further ahead in the top goal scorers charts. Let's have a look at the other match five day results then. London City with a massive 10-1 win over AFC Colossal. They were both previously on zero points before that game, so that's massive. And in the hashtag derby, we have a one-all draw. Let's have a look what those fixtures do to the table. Then that one loss, our first loss of the season, sees us go down into third place behind hashtag academy, both level on 10 points and Copper 90 now leading the way on 12. London City FC get their first three points of the season, leaving AFC Colossal last, hashtag United still in fourth place. Moving on to the MHFC top performers for the season, then James Heiser's goal sees his move his tally to sixth for the season. Jakey Stevens and Matt Creasy still on there despite not playing. Only three games for their meet and showing that they are real influential characters at both ends of the pitch.
If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to our channel to check out all our other content, including our next level vlogs from each day in the season's calendar. Of course, there is only one place to check out full highlights of all the games from the next level football league season, and that is on their channel. So make sure you subscribe to that if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching, and for us, it's on to the next one.